In this video, I'm going to show you how you can go from hearing this in your games to hearing something like this. Or perhaps something like this if you're feeling it. But just know, I ain't judging you. But before I begin this tutorial, please keep in mind if you're someone who plays War Thunder on a console such as Xbox or PlayStation, I'm sorry to say that this tutorial will not work for you. I'm truly sorry, my console friends. And please understand that I will only ever recommend that you use the War Thunder Live available sound mods as these, to my knowledge, are TOS friendly and will likely not get you in any trouble with EAC. But I'm saying that very loosely as rules do change over time, so make sure you're up to date with that. Now, first things first, you must be out of War Thunder. Simply just exit the game. Because I've broken my in-game sounds by not following this step. And trust me when I say that, I may have done that while trying to make this video. Oops. Now, the next step is to find the sound pack that you like by heading over to the War Thunder Live page, clicking over on sounds, and then you'll see a whole bunch of variety here, which does include a ton of anime. Again, I'm not judging you guys. And keep in mind, I will have a link down to everything below in the description, including the mods I used in this video. Now, the next step is to simply download whichever mod you'd like to have. I'm going to go with... Uh, this one right here, the IWSM sound mod. I have no affiliation with the guy, so if you want to take a look at this, link down below in the description. Simply click on this and download the zip file you'll be receiving shortly. Should be the top right right here. You should see it more or less like this. Now, once that's done downloading, all you have to do is just open the file with whatever you use to open zip files, right? And then you'll see these bank files. This is what you need. This is very important. Now, once that's done and you see everything there, go ahead and put this over to the side as we'll get back to this a little bit later in this video. Now, the next step is fairly straightforward. All you have to do is look for wherever War Thunder is installed. For me, I have it installed via Steam, which means that I just have to go over to the game, right click on it, go over to properties, scroll over to the install files tab and simply press browse, which should open this file right here. Now, this is the main directory of where all the magic happens. Now there's three things you have to do to get this right, and you don't have to do it in any particular order either. Now I'm gonna show you how I did it at first. All you have to do is scroll down until you find the sound folder. Once you do, double click, open that up, and then just in a blank area, right click, go over to a new, create a folder, and this is where things get a little bit tedious. You have to type it in as M-O-D, mod, all lowercase as it is case sensitive. Once that's made, all you have to do is just double click it, go over to the zip file that has all your sound stuff, simply take everything and do one of two things. I'm gonna do it the easiest way, which is just drag the file. You can extract it if you want. I've never had any sort of issue and just drop it in place. Once that's done, you're done here. And now the next step is to simply go back over to the root file of War Thunder and scroll down just a little bit more until you find a file called config.blk. Now you probably won't see it like this. There's a simple solution to this. You right click on it, open with, and open it either in notepad or as a text file. Once that happens, it should come up like this. Now, once you're in this part, things get a little bit more tricky, but I'm gonna try to outline it as simply as I can. Scroll down, 
all the way until you find this part right here called sound. Okay, now underneath speaker mode, just press enter. And I like to keep things pretty linear for the most part, double space. And then all you have to do is type in this command right here, enable underscore mod colon B equals yes. That's it. I'll have a, a little copy paste down below or the text in the description if you guys want to make your life very easy. Now, all you have to do next is just press save and you're done. Now, do keep in mind, if you do want to disable this, all you have to do is just delete yes and type in no and save. And then the mod has been disabled. It's that easy. Oh, and uh, I almost forgot. There are some more advanced sound mods out there that require some extra lines in that same config file. But for the majority of the sound mods that I've happened to come across, uh, that really wasn't needed. And you're done. If you're wanting to change to a different sound pack, just redo the mod folder or remove all the bank files and replace them. It really is that easy. But I hope this tutorial helped you. And if you're still struggling, feel free to maybe head over to my Discord and I'll do my best to get you on track. Or someone will at the very least, seeing that the server has hundreds of other like-minded players. Oh, and if you did enjoy this video or found it helpful, don't forget to drop a like and maybe even subscribe to the channel. And also don't forget that I do have a 3% discount link if you happen to buy anything from the War Thunder store. But that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and uh, I'll catch you next time.